Haha, so now we're starting to get into a little bit more difficult operations, right? Everybody's laughing when we're doing adding and subtracting and even multiplying. You're like, all right, I got this, I got this. Now what do you do? All right. Well, the first thing that I want to do here is I want to rewrite this. Um, a lot of times when we're dealing with fractions, it's easy when we have these new, um, division symbols. That rarely, rarely is ever going to happen. You're going to see division that's going to look something like this. And you're going to have operations that are going to look like this. You're going to have to determine what do I do first. Well, a lot of you say, well, okay, well, you have to use multiplication and division from left to right, right? Well, how do I do that when it looks like this? So the first thing I would do is I would rewrite this without it as a fraction. So notice I'm 2 is dividing everything, right? So what I can do is I can rewrite this as 3 times 2 plus 4 in parentheses divided by 2. So what that really means is I need to simplify my numerator first then I can divide that by the denominator. All right, It's very crucial that you understand that. A lot of students will maybe multiply by the 2, then divide it by the 2, and then add 4, or do something crazy like that. And we'll take a look at it. We'll see if that works, if that will give us the same answer. So if I rewrite it like this by just taking my numerator, put in parentheses, then divide it by 2, I use now my multiplication and um, I use my order of operations. So I do multiplication first. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 4 divided by 2. 6 plus 4 is 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now let's do an op let's do an operation that is common that for students. They would probably do 3 times 2 which would be um, 6 plus 4 divided by 2. Then they say oh I have to divide this so what they do is they divide 6 divided by 2 and they get 3 plus 4 which equals 7 which is wrong. Okay, now there is a way to do this that would have been very close to being right. So you can simplify the, the numerator um, or leave it in this form, but you have to follow the rules. And let's do that one for here, right, uh, for this problem up here. So on this problem, what you're going to want to do is here I need to simplify my numerator. So I'm just going to work from left to right. 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 1 divided by 5. Then I simply add negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 3 over 5. And yes, I know that is a fraction. It is a negative fraction, but it is your correct solution. That's exactly what you, uh, that, what you want. OK, um, I don't know why I keep on using these x's, but we'll just uh, use them for this way. Um, so for these x's, I have 3 times 3 times 3 plus 1. Again, just use your rules. 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. So I'm going to have 27 plus 1 over 7. 27 plus 1 is going to give me 28 over 7, which ends up equaling 4, which is my correct answer. Uh, real quick, I know I'm kind of going over, but there was one thing. I want to show you how to do this on the top, too. If I did 3 times 2 plus 4, that would give me 6 plus 4 divided by 2. I just want to let you guys know that from there, again, if you would add them up, 6 plus 4 is 10 divided by 2, which equals 5, which was my original correct answer. Or you could also do 6 divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, plus 4 divided by 2, which is 2, which equals 5. So just want to kind of go through that. That's a little extra, a little freebie for you.